cape Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another episode of the Minnesota Twins Out of the Park Baseball Franchise here on OOTP 16. Hope you guys had a very good 4th of July. Mine was very hot, and I have no AC where I live right now, and it's super hot, so I'm trying to get this video done. Um, not fast, but just um, I'm not trying to mess up and all that stuff, so um, because I, the fans that I have in my room are very loud and will not allow me to. Um, have a clear voice through the microphone. So let's try this out and see if it works. Um, hopefully it will. I went ahead and simmed the month of April. Secretly, I was kind of hoping we did bad, and we actually did just that. We went 8-13, and 13, uh, just a half game better than the Chicago White Sox. Um, let's actually go ahead here and take a look at the standings for the MLB uh, going through each division. The Rays are winning theirs already. The Indians are leading theirs. A's are leading theirs. The wild card so far is the Orioles and Blue Jays. Nationals leading theirs, Pirates leading theirs, Dodgers leading theirs, and the Mets and the Brewers are in the NL wild cards. So, like I said, Minnesota finished 8 and 13, second best, or sorry, second worst in the AL Central. Uh, looks like fourth worst in the AL, and probably about fifth worst in the entire league. So we're doing pretty bad. I kind of want us to do bad in the first year, maybe two. Um, I, you know, you do want to see improvements if you're a fan, but really. We're not going to do good the next couple of years, I don't think, and there's no point in trying to do good if we're just going to finish a couple of games out of the playoffs. We might as well do all the way bad and um, get some more high draft picks and just uh, stock up our farm system like it already is. And for those of you wondering, that if you asked um, about the pictures for player pictures, I got those all set up, so let me go ahead and show you. That's the standings. Um, well, first of all, I got my little face gen um animated picture for me this is not me obviously that's an animation but um i did go ahead and find all the major league baseball players pictures and some prospects some of them didn't even have pictures like for example byron buxton didn't have a picture so i had to go and manually do that myself and make one but i got pretty much all the um well i got all the players and the players that were missing i went with all the four star potential or up for all the prospects um and went ahead and made a picture for them so we got pretty much everyone uh, i guess we can just go look at uh, well here's tory hunter See, there's a picture for him now. Uh, Joe Maurer, him, uh, Brian Dozier, him. Okay, so yeah, we get the idea. But um, yeah, basically everyone is um, has pictures now. So like I said, not doing the best. That's okay, though. We are 8-13. and 13. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pitching staff first, see how they are doing. Phil Hughes, our first starter, he is 2-2 two and two with a 3.51 ERA. Urban Santana is 1-1 one and one with a 4.09 ERA. Ricky Nolasco is 1-2 with a 3.77 ERA. Kyle Gibson is 1-1 with a 3.08 ERA. And Tommy Malone has had a pretty rough start. Um, not record-wise, he's 1-1. But ERA-wise, he is 6. Uh, his ERA is 6.43. So that's not the best. Um, obviously, we're not expecting huge things out of Tommy. But it would be great if he could step it up a little bit. Maybe have ERA within that 4 range. So we'll see. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the lineups. Just look at these guys, see how they're doing. Jordan Schaefer, left fielder, he is hitting 226, no homers and 5 RBIs. Joe Maurer, hitting 298 with 2 homers and 13 RBIs, that's good to see. Oswaldo Arcia, a lot of uh, potential from him. 2 homers, 10 RBIs, he's batting 228. Pinto, the catcher, 2 homers, 11 RBIs, batting 266. Torrey Hunter, right fielder, 1 homer and 8 RBIs, although he is on the day-to-day, -day, um, I guess not DL, but he's day-to-day. Uh, for about a week here with an injury and he's batting 227. Trevor Plouf, two homers, 10 RBIs, 162. So he is struggling a little bit. Aaron Hicks, one homer, eight RBIs, 211. Brian Dozier hitting 263, one homer, seven RBIs. I might want to consider moving him, him up in the lineup. And then last but not least, Danny Santana, the shortstop with some good potential. Zero homers, nine RBIs, and he's batting 279. So that's good to see. He batted pretty well with us last year, remember, uh, when they called him up. Good numbers. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see. We have a lot of shortstop prospects. If he's going to turn out to be good, we might have to trade those other ones. And, uh, you know, we all also might have to think about trading Joe Maurer and possibly Torrey Hunter. Or not, sorry, not Torrey Hunter. Um, Arcia, I think. Mm, I don't, actually, I don't know. Let's just talk about... Shortstop, um, Danny Santana, 
if he does well, we're gonna have to trade the other shortstops because they would be good trade pieces because we do have some four and a half, five star potential shortstops in the farm system. And also if Joe Maurer starts to decline like he has been the last couple of years, then um, he should probably get traded. So we'll see though. Um, as far as anything going on crazy in the league, um, attendance is a little bit down. That's okay. We're just going through things here. Um, I don't want to move this series along super fast, but I do want to, you know, I, I want to get it going. You know, I want to go through probably, I don't know, maybe every five episodes go through a season. I don't know if that's too little, too much. I don't know. But uh, you can see here that Chris Bryant got called up. I don't know if he's going to, let's see here. Does he have his stats? This year he is having, well, he has one homer, six RBIs, and he's batting 227. So not bad for him. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm wondering whether we should trade. I don't want to trade anybody just yet because it's pretty early right now in the um, season. But I do want to go ahead and sim another month, see what happens, and I'll be back when we are in June. Okay, guys, so we are here after simming the month of May. We are in, or at June 1st, and uh, the team is doing, I guess, a little better than I thought. They're still not doing good or anything, but uh, definitely thought that we'd be more towards the bottom. We are, but not completely. So let's go ahead and take a look at the standings again. Uh, most of the divisions um, aren't too set. There's a couple. Um, Baltimore has a two-game lead over Tampa in the AL East. Cleveland has a four-and-a-half game lead over Detroit in the AL Central. Houston leading the AL West um, by two-and-a-half games over the A's. Wild card so far is the Tigers and the A's. In the NL, we have the NL East. Nationals have a two-game lead over the Marlins. The Cubs have a, or actually they're tied with the Cardinals, which those two have a two-and-a-half game lead over the Pirates. The Dodgers have a five-game lead over the D-backs. That's the biggest division league. And then um, in the NL, we have the, well, we actually have a, well, the Marlins have the top spot, and then we have a three-way tie uh, for the next three to keep in mind that the Cardinals and the Cubs are tied, so the Mets, um, or in there too. So, um, record for the Twins, 21 and 27. 10, ga 10 and a half games back of the Cleveland Indians. Uh, we won 5 and 5 in our last 10, so uh, we're not really streaky or anything, but uh, just, you know, not playing the worst ball. Uh, what is this? The second, one, two, third worst, fourth worst? Yeah, fourth worst in the AL. And in the entire league, we are. I guess it's better than them, so fifth worst. Yeah, we're about the fifth worst in the league, so it's still a top five pick. Um, and we're not going to do the draft this episode, we're going to do it next episode. Let's go ahead and take a look at the players again. ERAs are about the same. Phil Hughes is a little high, he's four and four. Santana's three and two. Nolasco's three and five. Gibson's two and two. Malone is three and four, still with that rough ERA. Bullpen is okay. Uh, Steven or Stefan. Gotta figure out how to say his name. He is just a reliever, not doing too well. Two or seven two seven ERA. Um, but yeah, closer Glenn Perkins, nine saves, five thirty one ERA. That's not that good for a closer, at least. Um, and he is one and two. So that is that. Let's go to the lineups. Jordan Schaefer, batting two hundred one, no homers still with twelve RBIs. It's okay. He's our leadoff guy. Doesn't need homers too much. Joe Maurer. Hitting 303, that's good to see. Two homers and 23 RBIs. Oswaldo Arcia, two homers, 13 RBIs, batting 213. Pinto, batting 241, four homers, 19 RBIs. Tori Hunter, batting 267, with two homers and 21 RBIs. Trevor Plouffe, batting 203, with six homers and 28 RBIs. Aaron Hicks, who was actually on the DL a little bit for a week or two um, while we simmed. He is batting 241, two homers and 14 RBIs. Brian Dozier, 307, six homers, 25 RBIs. And then finally, Danny Santana hitting 236 with a homer and 17 RBIs. So I do want to move up Brian Dozier. I just got to figure out the right spot to do that. Um, I'll probably get back with you guys in a sec. Osvaldo Arcia is injured. He's out for two weeks. Um, so he's in here. That means we're probably going to have to take him out. But we will see. Um, I'll be back here once I figure out what to do with Dozier. All right, so after doing some thinking, we decided to move up Brian Dozier into the sixth hole, switching him with Trevor Plouth in the eighth hole. Um, Danny Santana was doing better 
but uh, I still want to see a little more out of him. Um, he only had, I guess, well, he only has one homer. It's not like he needs to hit homers. But if he can keep this up a little longer, then I'll probably switch him. But uh, Brian Dozier moves up to the sixth hole, our second baseman. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and show you guys how our top prospects are doing. Let's go over there. Okay, so the top prospects, Byron Buxton, he is in AAA so far this year. Uh, he has started 48 games out of the 48 games he's been in. 169 at-bats, these are his stats. He's batting 237, not too impressive. 19 walks, 18 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, got caught, caught stealing once, three doubles and one, or sorry, zero triples, and then two homers and 40 hits. So not super impressive. Um, Again, it's only the first two months of the season, so he's definitely got time to grow. But it just shows that he's not quite ready to be brought up. He's definitely hopefully going to be brought up this season, hopefully before the All-Star break. Uh, but we will see. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to Miguel Sano. Okay, so here is Miguel Sano again with the pictures. He's in AA. He has started 48 games as well, 177 at-bats. He is batting 260, not bad. Stole three bases, got caught twice. Um, let's see, 26, well he's struck out 38 times, that's not too good. Um, well I guess he has had 177 at-bats, I'll have to keep an eye on that though. 26 walks, 23 RBIs, 7 homers, a triple, and 7 doubles. So he's looking pretty good, maybe have to consider moving him up to AAA if that seems like the right option. Um, I'll actually have to check to see who's at third base in AAA, but otherwise um, that is that. So let's go ahead and take a look at another prospect. All right, so here's Jose Barrios, the starting pitcher prospect for us. He is doing, uh, let's see, ERA, 181. Not bad, that's pretty good. He is 6-3 with a 181 ERA. Started 10 games, that's through 10 starts. 14 earned runs, giving up two home runs. That's very good, um, especially through 10 games, he's only giving up two home runs. 21 walks, 62 Ks, that's pretty good. I like what I see from him. He's in double A. Maybe we'll have to move him up to triple A soon. We will see. All right, so this is Nick Gordon, um, the shortstop. We have a bunch of shortstops in the farm system and on our team, but we, this is the one that's long-term. He's not going to come up too um, quickly. He's 19 years old. He is a four and a half star potential. He's in single A and through 48 games and 184 at bats. He is hitting 239 with 10 stolen bases, struck out 37 times, nine walks, 14 RBIs, two homers, a triple, and five doubles with 44 hits. So uh, he's not doing too bad. We might have to move him up. Um, I don't want, I don't want to move him up right away. He's 19 years old, so maybe next year. Um, I think this is actually probably a good spot for him for the rest of the year, just because he's 19. You don't want to move him up to double A that quickly, but maybe next year we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the prospect update. All right, so that is going to do it for this episode. We sim two months, checked on, in on our players and prospects, and also the standings. Next episode, we have the first year player draft, which is actually in six days on June 6th. And you will see that pro and probably a, another month of simulations. So, um, like I said, I don't want to go too fast with this series. I want to, you know, take it a little bit slower. But um, at the same time, I do. I don't want to stretch it out so much. I said five episodes per season. I think that's even a little too long. Um, I, I'm thinking maybe, because I did half a season each episode last time with my Seattle Mariners, that kind of took too quickly. So I'm thinking maybe, uh, gosh, three episodes a season, that probably sounds good. Um, and then obviously for playoffs per round, if we go to the playoffs eventually, we will have one episode per round. So um, obviously we kind of stretched it out at the beginning, so I would expect a couple more episodes till the season ends, but that is how it um, panned out. Looking okay. Like I said, rather do worse than better, even though, you know, if we do really good, obviously I want to do that, but at this moment in time, it's really not necessarily to, necessary to win, so I think we should try to do as bad as possible to try to get some more good draft picks. So that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on Thursday with another OOTP16 episode with your twins. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow with Mac Money Road of the Show.